Welcome back to Tech Solutions. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through installing Wagedroid on Kali Linux 2025.4. I'm using the KDE Plasma variant. And one very important thing before we even start, Wagedroid requires a Wayland compositor. So if you're on KDE Plasma, make sure you're logged into a Wayland session, not X11. You can confirm this from your system information or the login screen before you sign in. Without Wayland, Wagedroid simply won't run, so don't skip this part. Once you're confirmed on Wayland, the very first step is downloading the Android system image and the vendor image. Wagedroid itself doesn't magically pull these for Kali in this setup, so we'll do it manually. Open your browser and head over to the Wagedroid SourceForge directory. You'll see multiple files there, but the ones we need are the system image and the vendor image. Download both files exactly as demonstrated on screen and wait for them to finish downloading completely. After the downloads are done, open your terminal and navigate to the directory where those files were downloaded. Now we'll extract them one by one using unzip, exactly as shown. This step is important because Wagedroid needs direct access to the extracted image files, not the compressed archives. As you run the unzip commands, you should see the files extracting without any errors. Once both archives are extracted successfully, you should clearly see the system and vendor image files sitting there, ready to be used. Now that the images are prepared, let's move on to installing Wagedroid itself. First, we update the package index so Kali knows about the latest available packages. This avoids dependency issues later. After that, we install curl and k certificates. Curl is needed to fetch the official Wagedroid installation script securely, and K-Certificates ensures the download is trusted and verified. With Curl installed, now we grab the official Wagedroid installation script using Curl, exactly as shown on screen. This script takes care of setting up the Wagedroid repository and preparing the system for installation. Once the script finishes, we update the package index again. This step is necessary because the Wagedroid repository has just been added, and Kali needs to refresh its package list to see it. Now we install Wagedroid using apt. This pulls in all the required components, including the container setup and dependencies needed to run Android inside Linux. Let the installation complete fully without interrupting it. Once it's done, Wagedroid itself is installed, but we're not finished yet. Next, we create the required directories where Wagedroid expects the system and vendor images to live. These directories don't exist by default, so we create them manually, as demonstrated. After creating the directories, we move the extracted system and vendor image into their proper location. Take a moment to verify the move using the list command just to be sure the files are exactly where they should be. If the files are in the wrong place, Wagedroid won't initialize correctly. With everything in place, we now initialize Wagedroid. This step tells Wagedroid to set up its container using the images we just provided. Once initialization is done, you can close the terminal. At this point, everything is ready. Open your application menu, search for Wagedroid, and launch it. After a few seconds, the Android environment should start up smoothly. As you can see, it's running flawlessly on Kali Linux 2025.4 with KDE Plasma on Wayland. From here, you can sign in, install Android apps, and use Wagedroid just like a native Android system running inside Linux. If this helped you out, make sure to support the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.